Hello and welcome to Snapstream. The following is a short video to get you started with our video clipping tools. Snapstream's superpower is helping you make moments that matter from long form video, especially when it's live. While you learn, try clipping a few moments from this video. We're so excited you're here. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna choose a recording to clip from. If you're trying to clip from an event that hasn't started yet, just wait until it gets close to the time it should begin and it should pop up in your library. If you're within about 10 minutes and you don't see it yet, you can go ahead and refresh. Uh, but we're gonna start from here in the library of Snapstream. And I'm just gonna clip from this past event that we held. When you first get into a recording, you'll see that there are, depending on the size of your screen, a few panels. In the first panel, you'll see the video player where you're gonna do your uh, clipping. And then next, you'll see a transcript. And if you have a third panel, you'll see info about the recording. So we're going to clip in just a minute, but first, what I want to do is connect a social media account. That's the quickest way to post and get things directly to your audience. And so, so you'll select the Twitter icon here, and then you're gonna say, add a personal Twitter account. Now that's gonna take you to a screen where you'll see the ability to add other social accounts, but we're just gonna add a Twitter account here. And if you've ever connected to Twitter with another application, this should be familiar. You'll just click authorize app. And then you can go ahead and close this tab. And that'll take you right back to where you were. Now, you won't see your Twitter account here yet. And so what you wanna do is click refresh account list here in the top right of this tab. Okay, so now you'll see the name of the Twitter account you just connected. And you'll see a frame here that represents the clip that you might be posting. And this box here is where you're going to uh, put the content for your tweet. So what I'm gonna do next is show you how to actually create a clip. So I'm gonna go find something interesting that has some meaning and uh, a special moment that I want to kind of highlight. And to begin, I'll click clip start, or I can use Z on my keyboard. Now that will bring up some clip fine tuning controls below. I can uh, nudge this clip start point by a second or a frame using these controls. Uh, and I can go back to the beginning of the clip here to see exactly where I started it at. And then when I'm ready, I can click the clip end button or X on my keyboard. Now I have the same fine tuning controls for the clip end. And then I also get some other controls like loop so that I can make sure and um, kind of see the clip again before uh, deciding that it's finished. I can also loop the end of the clip to make sure that the end is exactly where I wanted it. And I can skip to the end or start of the clip with these two arrows here. So let's say that I'm ready to go ahead and tweet this clip. I'm gonna write my tweet. And once I'm done doing that, I'm pretty much ready to go. And I can go down and click tweet here. Now, if I was actually tweeting, when I click tweet, that's going to uh, begin some processing that you'll see down in the bottom right of the clip. And then when it's finished, it'll send that off to Twitter. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one more way to clip. In, these t in this bar of tabs here, you'll see the scissors icon or the clipping tab. So you can go to that and I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that other clip that I was creating and create a new one. All right, so just like we did the first time, I'm gonna set a clip start and when I'm ready, I'll set a clip end point. And if I was clipping for real, I might uh, make some adjustments over here. And then when I'm ready, all I have to do is make sure this is set to clip only. And then I can give it give the clip a title. And select clip. 
you'll see the clipping has started. And just like when you tweet, you'll also see down here in the bottom right that there's some processing happening in the background. What you can also do is go over to the moments list up here in this tab bar. And you'll see maybe there's some other people that have created some clips already. Uh, one of these is the test clip that I just created and sent to Twitter maybe. Uh, another one might be someone else that's here clipping with me. And you'll see this clip that I just created is still clipping and processing in the background. So here in just a second, when that's finished, I will show you how to download your clip. All right, so that's finished. I'm gonna make this a little larger so we have two columns. And I can simply click download and that will download it to my computer. Now, if I still have that Twitter account connected, I could also post it to Twitter and that will bring up tweet options where I can post, where I can put in my um, tweet content and then click send to tweet that again. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us and we hope you enjoy your time clipping in Snapstream.